It's hard to believe prom season is here, and it's the second one we've experienced in the middle of a pandemic. A local health official, she's helping students get ready with her annual dress giveaway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here to tell us all about this initiative and the young girls she's helping around our area is Wayne County Commissioner Alicia Bell. Alicia, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. So you've been doing this event for more than a decade now. Tell us about what sparked this idea and how the community has reacted. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. Back in 2007, 2008, when the country was going through the recession, I thought, you know, how can we help our families and our young girls go to prom? Because their parents have so much to do with bills. How can we make the prom experience less expensive for the families? Proms can be very expensive. Dresses, hair, shoes, makeup, all of those things that go into it. So I want to ease the burden of our families here in Metro Detroit. Great point you mentioned. It's not just the dress. It's all the other things that go with the dress. Now, we, you weren't able to hold this event last year because of COVID restrictions. So what does it mean now to be kind of back in business and doing it once again? You know, it's, it's great. Uh, and I wasn't going to do it again this year, uh, thinking that we would still be in a situation where we wouldn't be able to have them based on the pandemic. But I spoke to a few schools and the 12th graders were determined to have a prom some kind of a way. They'll be outside for most of the schools. So I said, again, especially now with the pandemic, families are even more a hardship than they have been in the last few years. So we decided to go ahead and do it but we're gonna do it with all the safety protocols in place. It's gonna be outside for the first time. Normally we have a great partnership with the Boys and Girls Club, but this year we're gonna be outside and we partner with Third New Hope Church and we have a tent, we're gonna have a food truck, we're gonna have a DJ, and we still have hundreds and hundreds of dresses and shoes that we're gonna give away today. Speaking of dresses, during the break, you were multitasking because the truck was actually <laughs> delivering some of those dresses. So for some of the girls around our area who might not be familiar with Belle of the Ball, talk to us about some of the dresses that are available to them. Absolutely. We have beautiful dresses. We're so lucky <clears throat> that we've been able to get dresses donated by uh, bridal shops throughout the region. Uh, we've get, been getting dresses from uh, local uh, ladies. Uh, they may be slightly worn, but so many of them are brand new with tags on them. Just before the pandemic hit, we had six boxes of brand new dresses delivered to us in anticipation of doing it last year. So we still have those dresses. Uh, we partner with Unique Lady. They give us tons of dresses over the years. We have a partnership with Two Men in the Truck. They're doing it. They're the ones who are here transporting the dresses now from my father's attic <laughs> where we store them to the church. So it's just a wonderful, wonderful event. And I'm so happy that we're able to do it this year and so happy that girls are going to get this much needed beautiful dress that they're going to have to celebrate the culmination of their 12th grade year at their prom. And those photos were just beautiful, especially that yellow dress. I love that. So the event happening today from noon to three, we just have a couple seconds left, but tell our viewers how they can take part in this special event. Yes, we did do appointments. However, we're not going to turn anyone away. Um, the address is 12850 Plymouth between Myers and Schaefer at Third New Hope Church. Any young lady can come through between 12 and 3 p.m. today. We'll gladly take you because, as I stated, we have hundreds of beautiful, beautiful new dresses, and I can't wait to give them away. Wayne County Commissioner Alicia Bell, thank you so much for being here. We, of course, will post this all on our website, WXYZ.com.